Hello, it's Binny here. Today, end of the week, end of the month, end of the quarter, I'm going to do a quick review, a short review onto some of the currency movement here, uh, especially onto dollar versus CNH. You might be asking me, why is it that I need to take a look into dollar versus CNH when I want to know about the, uh, you know, the stock movement? Now think about you, let's say, going to a place to travel or for example, recently Japan opens up and a lot of people were telling me that, hey, they are looking to visit Japan. Um, so if you want to know whether there are many people going to Japan, all right, then you might want to look into the currency movement because before you go to Japan, the first thing that you have to do is to buy a ticket, of course, but the most prominent thing that you always, always will want to do is go and change money into Japanese yen. So if you start to see, for example, a lot more people are changing money, you know, in Japanese yen, we know that there's, before even they hate to Japan, we already know that there's a huge interest in people going to Japan. So a lot of things has to do with the flow of money, including stock market. So in order for you to buy into a particular stock market, let's say, for example, I have a lot of USD, I want to buy into Chinese market. What is the first thing I need to do? I need to change my USD into RMB. All right, so that's the first clue. The first clue of people entering the market because the flow of money gave us this clue. All right, so today we're going to have a look into dollar versus CNH because it reached a historical level and it um, actually rejected the historical level. We want to see how this is going to have an implication onto, for example, the CN15. Now let's take a look into right now my chart here which is on dollar versus CNH which is the top panel and at the bottom panel would be CN50. Alright so this is not really a good representation of uh, the Chinese market but you know this is how I use it to analyze and you might want to replicate the same method. So one um, if you take a look into the correlation on this weekly chart we saw a high in uh, CN50 uh, sorry, we saw high in the uh, dollar versus CNH at about 7.2 and then it corresponds with a low in CN15. Okay, after we've seen uh, the dollar versus CNH hits the, the high of 7.2 twice and after that, right, it started to uh, consolidate for a while for the CN15 and it started to move up. Okay, so it moved up from about 30,000 all the way to high of 20,000. Now, why is that so? Now, this means that if you are holding right now a dollar, all right, and because dollar is strong and CNH is weak, so it makes a lot more sense to buy into the Chinese stock market because right now every dollar can buy you seven point two dollar worth of the Chinese stocks. While in the past, that's it around here, right? Every dollar can only buy you six point two dollars of Chinese stocks. Now, in a way, by using the exchange rate, you have already made money. If you were to buy at 7.2, that means that $1 versus 7.2 versus $1 uh, equal to 6.2. All right, so right now, uh, based on what we are seeing here, we can see that um, the dollar versus CNH again retested into the 7.2 region, rejected and formed a long um, bearish um, shooting star. Okay, so this is a very clear rejection and you probably heard of news such as the Chinese government came out to defend um, the um, uh, RMB right, to stop it from actually dropping too fast. Okay, but I want you to focus a little bit into the CN50 for example as an index and it is actually near to the previous historical low. So while for example, the exchange all right, is near to that all-time high all right and uh, the index it's near to the previous low okay so that's near to the previous low so it means that uh, for someone to buy into the index previously let's say somebody is to buy into the index at about uh, a start of the March to May all right that person uh, based on exchange rate would be only able to buy 6.3 or 6.2 dollars worth of Chinese stocks. However, right now, okay, it's going to use a cheaper amount, all right, to buy into the same level. Okay, so that makes the Chinese stocks relatively attractive from the forex and exchange point of view. All right, so then you might be asking me, then what am I looking at? Now, take note, okay, from historical. It doesn't mean that, you know, when it touches that 
7.2 immediately you're going to see a rebound in the market you probably need some substantial time for it to fully consolidate reversed and then to show the outward movement because at this moment the chinese stock market like 750 is still in a downtrend all right so you might want to consider into instruments which pays dividends while you are starting to accumulate into this uh, index here all right but as a reference all right you you understand from the flow of money, right, that it probably make a lot more sense to consider the Chinese stock market um, now versus, let's say, the start of the year, or now versus, for example, when the stock market was near the high of 20,000. All right, hope that you like this uh, particular video, and if you like that, please remember to give me a thumbs up, and please remember to like and then subscribe.